Hello everyone, Linda Israel here. Thank you so much for joining me on this live premiere on Thanksgiving Day in the United States. I really appreciate you taking some time to hang out with me. By the way, I'm here in the chat. I'm recorded as far as the video is concerned, but I am in the chat if you want to chat with me for a few minutes while I show you this project. The project that I'm sharing with you today is taking some envelopes. In this case, they are some coin envelopes. This is like a small little envelope, and this is a five by seven envelope. Envelope, envelope. It depends where you're from, I think. And here's what I made. So I just kind of did some collaging on them. So I thought I would show you how to do this. So I've got the coin envelope here in front of me, and I thought I would show you just basically stamping on top of it. So I'm going to grab a couple of stamps. I've got the Beach Rose Large is what this one's called, and I've got some Jet Black Archival Ink. And I'm just going to stamp this kind of at the top corner here. I've got a little scrap of some paper that I had painted with some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. I first painted it with some acrylic craft paint by using a gift card or an old card, just kind of scraping the paint over it. And then I sprayed it with a couple of colors of Tattered Angels. And I thought what I would do is take this little strip and let's tear a little piece. So I think maybe something like that would be kind of cute. And then I have a scrap of a book page here. So let's grab a rubber stamp. And I believe I want to use, let's use the number two. So I've got the number two from the Gaudi Caps and Numbers stamp set. So you get the uppercase letters and then the numbers that come in that set. So I've got the number two, again with the archival black jet black ink. I'll just stamp that. I like the way that looks. Okay. I'll rip this to just make it a little bit smaller. All right. So I've got those pieces. I like how this is coming together. So I think I also want to grab a stencil. So before I glue everything down, I just kind of want to get my design put together. And this is the Diamond with Flair stencil. And I have Dusty Concord Distress Oxide and a blending tool, the oval blending tool. So I think I'll just kind of start in this corner and maybe just kind of fill in just a little bit, just to add a little bit of pattern. And while I've got my blending tool out, I'm going to come in here with the flower and just give it a little bit of color. Not a lot, just a little. Okay, I'm liking that. This is going to go on here. I may make this a little bit smaller. All right, let's add some Distress Inks to the edges of our envelope as well as these little pieces. I'm using Distressed Ink Walnut Stain and a little blending tool. Hey, if you have any questions while I'm working here, please feel free to ask and I will be in the chat so I can answer those questions. And of course, check the description box below for links to any of the products that I share today, as well as my social media connectors. For example, my Instagram, my Facebook, as well as my Facebook groups. And my Instagram, was I said Instagram, my blog. Yeah, I had to think about all of those. Okay, I like that. So, what happens if I, let's glue these pieces down. So, I'll glue down that little blue piece first. So, it's a good way to use all those scrap pieces. And especially since I'm using old book pages to paint them to use in my junk journal stuff. I have the, I think it's called Twining Tulip Stamp. I think that would look really cute stamped here on the edge. So I'm just going to put it on that blue scrap just a little bit and over to the side. I like that. I also have from the Farewell Stamp Set. It says today, tomorrow, yesterday, and farewell. And I have tomorrow. So let's stamp tomorrow right there in the corner. So a little bit different, but same concept. Just used a different word, different number. And I've decorated the little envelope. I didn't do the back of this one, so I guess I could do that. 
I just like adding just that subtle pattern on there. Like that? All right, so let's see what else we've got. For this one, I have, I, I kind of call this, what was it? My mom used to get these little uh, boxes of envelopes that she would use to mail small letters in. So it's not a very big envelope. Let me get my ruler. So it's, oh, almost three and three quarters inch tall by about six and a half inches. And this was just something that was in my stash. I have the flower stamp. It's called Flower Lover. And I want to stamp that on here, kind of in the middle to one side. Mainly because I liked the way that flower looked and having that text beside it. I'm not really worried about if I can read the text. I just wanted to have it there. And I think while I'm at it and I've got my rubber stamps out, let's grab, I think this one is like French script or French correspondence. I always get the name wrong. And I'm going to ink this up and kind of fill in just a little bit. So just kind of kiss it barely onto the page, maybe a little bit up there as well. I also have the botanical fern stamp. So I'm going to ink that up. And this time I'm doing it a little bit different. I just want a little bit of that pattern. So I'm just going to kiss my paper just a little bit onto my envelope. And I may even do some of the flap just for a little pattern. All right, so I'm liking how that looks. Earlier, I sprayed some Tattered Angels onto a book page, so it altered the color. This is a page, I guess it's out of a Bible. This is out of a family Bible. And I think now what I wanna do is wanna stamp on top of that. I'm grabbing the Beach Rose stamp again. So more than one way to use this stamp. And we're gonna stamp this kind of in the corner Maybe like that. I just want to tear this one out just to give it a rough texture. Okay, so I've got that piece. I'm liking this. So we may put that on there. I have a strip of blue paper. I'm going to rip part of this away. Maybe something like that. Maybe this will go over it. Yeah, I'm liking, I'm liking how this is coming together. I think I also want to use the stencil. So I'm going to grab that stencil real fast and the Distress Oxide ink kind of adds a little bit of a pattern. Maybe we'll add another pattern down here. So it's a great way to dress up these old envelopes, especially if you had some in your drawer and they're aged and dirty. That'd be a good thing to do. Okay, I'm liking that. So I think what I want to do now is I want to just apply some Distress inks to all the edges. So I'll go around the edges of the flower piece the strip of blue, as well as the entire envelope. I'm flipping this over to the back side because I want to look at how I've got this designed up and I've got the music stamp. And let's stamp it coming down the side here, like that. And then I have the leafy branch. Let's put it down here. Okay, I'm going to grab my stencil again and kind of add a little bit of patterning. Again, just adding a subtle pattern on there. I've got another scrap of this paper, so let's get a different number. Let's do the, we'll do the number eight. And I think that would look good right up there. So let's put some Distress Ink on here. And I'll go ahead and glue this one down. And I think I want to go ahead and glue down this blue piece. I'm just using a Lean's Tacky Glue. And I think the flower stamp image, let's put it right in here. So it'll kind of overlap onto the back or the flap of the envelope. I've got a few images from Calico Collage. You know, I love her little ephemera pieces. I even take some of the elements, like this one is supposed to be an artist trading card size at two and a half inches by three and a half inches. And what I'll do on my computer is I will print the page as it's kind of like a photo page. So it gives you the option to print the page as a five by seven image, even though it's an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and it shrinks the images easily. So I've done that with this little postcard. Let's see. I think the postcard would look kind of cute overlapping up here in that area. And then 
I've got the word infatuation and I've got a little scrap of purple paper. So what if we did that? I'm going to put some distress inks on this. Sometimes I forget to go ahead and apply distress inks to them. Maybe something like that. So you still see the flower behind. We're getting this collage effect going on. And I think I want, I saw a little, oh, I've got a little piece of this blue left from the other envelope. And what if we put it right in here? So I'll glue down this little blue piece. And then I'll glue down the little postcard. I just saw this. So we got infatuation. How about charming? So these are another of Norella's words that are normally a lot larger. But again, I went into my computer and I said, print the full sheet as I think a four by six photo. So it made it a lot smaller. So what if we put that? right here. So we've got charming infatuation. And then we'll just fold our envelope back. And so now we have a little envelope that we've decorated. Isn't that kind of cute? Fun, fun, fun. All right. So now I've got my five by seven envelope here. And I looked at it and said, okay, it won't fit in my journal as a five by seven. Not really because there's not a lot of space this way. Now I could attach it or make it a flip out or something, but I thought why not fold it in half and then let's stamp and decorate this. So I'm going to get another stamp and this one is called companion rose. So this time I'm going to ink it up and I'll stamp it close to the top. So there's the image on there. I like it. I've got my distress ink out again, so I'm going to grab some of that purple and just come in here and add a little bit of color to the flower. And since there's some nice pretty leaves, I have the forest moss and another blending tool. Make sure that I got it. Yeah. Come in here and do the flower stems and leaves. Like it. Got another book page laying here, so I'm just going to rip it. I think that would look good in here. And I've got figure number 10, so let's put some distress inks on these pieces. My desk becomes a quick mess with all the little things, but it's kind of fun because you just kind of sort through what you have on your desk, see what you can use, see how you can make it work. Let's use the Today from the Farewell stamp set. I'm liking that. Now I haven't done this yet, but we'll go ahead and go around the edge with some distress inks. And sometimes I'll even swipe into the middle of my envelope just to give it a little bit of a grungier look. I even kind of went across the opening here just a little bit. So now I'm going to open it up to the inside. Let's grab our stencil again, just for a variety of showing you the same stencil on different projects. And this time I'm just going to kind of come in all over. Just adding a subtle pattern. I have the flourish, filigree, flourish, flourish, filigree. All the products that I use will be in the description box below. And you can also find them on my blog with the same project name, which will this, I think I'm going to call this altered envelopes. And I want to stamp this kind of coming up the edge here. And then I'll stamp it again, kind of going this way. I like it. And then I think I saw, oh, I do. I have another scrap of this blue paper. And then I have this little stamp and I'll stamp that. I'll do it closer to the torn edge. Life is about making memories. So I'll rip this one 
and then add some distress inks. Let's put that in this corner so it kind of gives a little flourishes. I know you can't see it with my scrap paper under there, but I think I like that. On the flap here, I have the script stamps again, or the uh, Paris. Let's just kind of touch that down the edge. And I have a scrap of blue paper. So I'm going to take it about there, a little torn piece. Whenever I cut off pieces, if it's a pretty good size piece, I save it. And I have like a little baggie that I put things in. I have my little words that I cut on my Cricut. You know, maybe you'll, um, you cut things out of magazines or maybe you two have a Cricut. I'm, I think I have some of these for sale in my shop. <laughs> Sometimes I'm out of them. But what if we did love... I like that and let's let's do a different number so let's see let's do uh, number five let's apply some distress inks is this something that you can do do you think that you can just grab a bunch of things don't think too much about it just grab a few things and start gluing them down don't fret about it too much. And if you really, if you just take a moment and go pretty quick, don't even think about it. Just kind of say, okay, I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put that there. You'll find that it just starts to come together really easily. Kind of like that. So we've decorated the flap. I'm not gonna put anything on this portion, but we've done something here. So let's put something on the back. How about the leafy vine again. I like that. And I have from, I believe this is the sun kissed cube. There's a set of four rubber stamps and I just have a scrap. I think it's a paper out of a book, probably out of a Bible and I'll stamp it on here like so. I'm going to grab my paintbrush and I'm grabbing some Tattered Angels, maybe like Curious or from the Punked Out Steam Kit. There's some blues in there. You've got the Positive Vibes Kit that has a blue. And I'm just using my paintbrush to color in the petals. You could use your markers, you can use your colored pencils, you can use your watercolor pens or paints. I've got golden orange. Again, I'll just dip my paintbrush in. I washed it out in some water. Put that on there. And let me grab my scissors and let's fussy cut this out. I may dry it with my heat tool because it's kind of wet. I like this little stamp or stamps like this that I could stamp and color really fast and then fussy cut out and then keep them in a little Ziploc baggie or a baggie so that I can grab them when I'm ready. So I've got a whole bunch of images like that. And we'll put this up here in the corner. And I'll grab out of my box of words again. See one that says dream. Let's glue that down. And I grab my stencil one more time. And let's stencil down here in this corner. And there is my folded envelope decorated just with a little bit of leftover bits and stamps and stenciling. I like it. I like how it's turned out. Now you can use this whole envelope to put things in, a little ephemera, tuck this into a pocket, just like we could with the other smaller envelopes. Here's the one that my sample that I made to kind of give me the idea, used 
you know, today, yesterday, and you could put uh, tomorrow on another one if you wanted to have a variety in your journal. And then here is the other envelopes that I made. I used a different image, different words, but same concept, just kind of playing around with what I have. And again, you can just fill the inside with whatever you have on hand. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing this tutorial, playing with some envelopes, decorating those to put into your junk journals or scrapbooks to send happy mail in, have some fun with, make a greeting card out of it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Hey, check out last week's, the transforming book pages into uh, decorative papers or decorative pages and I made it into a junk journal page so maybe you'll check that out and get some ideas from that and I hope to have a few more like this type of tutorial to kind of inspire you to get your junk out and play. Do you know I go live on Mondays at 3 45 p.m central standard time where I make a journal live during the live stream. I also have prizes that I give away so you want to check that out and then of course on Thursdays at 12 30 p.m central standard time I have have a live premiere recorded video where you can chat with me. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. We'll see you next time. Bye.